welcome back to the channel this is gonna be huge okay so anybody that's been following me knows that uh, one of the things I really look forward to is four times a year I get the big ass box of goodies in from crate club that box is called the general and just recently they decided to switch well they don't they didn't switch they added uh, a monthly campaign and the uh, the box that I have to show you is called the major it uh, there's three different tiers to the monthly box this is the uh, the top tier and uh, I thought that it was that it was pretty awesome I decided to give it a try just like if you signed up for it you would have no idea what is in the box um, if you'd like a little uh, idea of what to expect and uh, the pricing uh, plans I will have the uh, link down below in the description box otherwise let's get into November's major uh, first item up in the box is the Nightcron I have actually owned this light in the past and uh, well it was uh, really liked by a friend of mine and uh, I decided to uh, uh, to give it away I'm not so sure if I actually want to do that again these lights these lights are uh, they're well they're a they're really cool and B they're fairly straightforward which is always something that I do truly enjoy in a uh, uh, in a fl in a flashlight as you know I'm uh, I've had my fair share of uh, flashlight reviews <laughs> and uh, well, the ones that you have to do a, a zillion things in order to make them work or okay that's just a warranty thing so in the package you get the charging cable it is the C style connector I always like to see that because uh, uh, every every almost every other thing that I have right now works on the, the C so uh, it's nice to see as many it's nice to see okay moving on uh, it is powered by an 18650 uh, battery this one happens to be a 2600 milliamp hour uh, there is an o-ring right there. They do give you an extra o-ring and Charging port door cover in case yours happens to wear out and what's really cool about this light is it's kind of the uh, old school if you remember uh, uh, Some uh, military lights uh, were like this uh, in a in an angle, but wait chat wait, there's more uh, if you prefer just a traditional style flashlight Ta-da! Uh, button on the side, press and hold. Uh, you've got, uh, I don't even know what they call it. Uh, uh, they had a, they have a thing on the, they have, they have a thing on the back that uh, kind of tells you what it has, but it doesn't tell you how to make it work. Well, for starters, we'll go with the, uh, the pad gives you the condition of the battery at this moment in time. I have not charged this. I literally just got this box uh, in uh, yesterday and wanted to uh, uh, be able to do this video as soon as possible so I have not put a charge on this. Looks like it's in good shape. Firefly mode. Uh, you just press and hold. Okay, sorry. Oh, remember when I said it was straightforward? I, I, I know what it is from uh, from from off got firefly low medium and high and they say high is uh, 1200 lumens if you press and hold you get uh, green press and hold again oh sorry <laughs> not press and hold just press red again goes to flashing red uh, from off, sorry, come on, off, uh, strobe, and then again is SOS. 
and again the uh, the pad uh, gives you the uh, the strength of the battery uh, yellow your uh, 20 to 40 percent and then when it's red you're less than your rest you're less than uh, 20 percent so and the tail cap is magnetic so if uh, you're working under the hood of a wow So I was just testing. See, oh, it almost, it almost lifts this, which is three steel balls, just about. So at least I know it would not fall, uh, fall down and hit me while it was uh, attached to the side of a, uh, a water heater or uh, under the hood of a vehicle. Next item in is uh, the subtle Patriot pistol planner. Try saying that fast 27 times. Now what this is, is it's set up to look like a day planner. I don't know if anybody has ever used one of those. Uh, back when uh, I was managing a business, I had something like this. And inside I had a place to keep all notes. I had a calendar, blah, blah, blah. And this is, is designed... This is designed to mimic the look that you have a day planner. And instead, it is a way for you to carry a firearm. There's memory foam in here to, and it, actually that area that I just pressed is now, now a crater. A design, pull out the carry gun, the awesome Smith & Wesson 1076 FBI trade-in. So you could put that in there. You could uh, put uh, 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 your backup mag in there. Actually, you could you could put a couple couple mags in here. And then uh, with the memory foam, it helps to hold it in place, so stuff isn't going to uh, move around on you. And now uh, you look less likely like you have a firearm on you. Now, as cool as that is, as part of full disclosure. Um, I would do this as the uh, is the backup uh, to the backup to the gun that was on my side, but overall, I uh, I do I do like the idea. If you said to yourself, I I don't know if I'd ever want to put my my pistol in something and then being you know be carrying it, you know maybe someone can come along and pull it out of your hands or whatever. You know they think you're a really cool CEO and you have all the secret plans for the company in here. But because of that memory foam, you could you could technically put other items in here, maybe uh, uh, some electronics or something like that, if it's going to fit in this profile. <clears throat> you know what? It's it's your own little world. You know, you you do what you want with it. And that is the uh, subtle Patriot pistol planner. Next item is very cool. I already have one of these. And I just got done um, having a conversation with somebody, and I said, you know, I, I, I'd like to get another one of those. And it's like, holy crap, here's another one of those. So I, I have a, a first-hand information on this. I, I really like these. It's a, it's a speed uh, uh, vault, and it gives you the ability to uh, safely lock up one one pistol I mean you might be able to get a couple very very small pistols in here but it's it's designed for a single single pistol giving you very fast uh, access to it uh, left in the box I'm, I'm not gonna take it out there's a, a little bumper that you put on after you uh, um, do everything else you need to do in here it uh, at first I thought it was gonna be a little uh, overwhelming but it was easy they give you the screwdriver they give you all of the uh, the fasteners and the hardware you need in the event that there's a uh, um, twofold situation you have a a memory loss or B um, the battery dies or whatever and you uh, you cannot get into it. I guess I do actually need some, some of the stuff in here. Where are the keys? Uh, 
Here we go. In the event that something happens, uh, you can uh, store these someplace else. Uh, for right now, uh, there is it does not come with a battery, which is a 9 volt. Um, because that's not in there, I cannot show you its uh, actual function. Uh, but uh, the what what happens is you can pick uh, your code. It is a uh, a three digit combination. I guess if someone was trying to get into this, they'd they'd have no idea if it was three or if it was you know twenty seven. But uh, it's a three a three digit combination. So you would uh, punch that in, you know, one, two, three, and uh, the door drops open, a light uh, inside LED uh, turns on, and uh, your pistol is right there. Uh, that's kind of cool. I have to use, I have to use my, my carry gun uh, twice in one review to demonstrate uh, how, and now that, the, the 10... The 1076 is a fairly large uh, frame gun. It is a 10 millimeter, and as you can see, uh, no, no problem. It could, in theory, stick out even higher than all of this, and uh, it really went, it really went matter because the first thing that makes contact is this with the lock mechanism all the way in back. But uh, the directions. The directions were uh, easy, straightforward. Uh, you have uh, you have your programming uh, buttons right here. Uh, you mine. I have it set up so that it, it beeps whenever you make contact with a pad. Uh, if you don't want it to do that, you can actually select uh, mute. But otherwise, you uh, just uh, put a nine volt battery in right here. Uh, The uh, the reason they don't really have the bumper and stuff on is because in order to attach this properly, you need to remove the gun tray, the front tray, from it. And I know you look at this and go, well, that seems silly, but uh, there's a plate that covers this. And if you uh, remove the screws while it is locked, uh, you cannot... You cannot yank the tray out of this because I tried because I saw the screws between the uh, cover the cover plate which then gets uh, protected here. It's 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 good and it gives you fast access to be able to uh, to have a firearm and it gives you the ability to either mount it through the uh, right side, left side, or back side. And it comes with the uh, the plate and everything. You, know, you attach the plate to where you're going to be hanging it, and then you hang it on that plate, and then put uh, a couple of a uh, couple of fasteners in place to to secure it, lock it in place. Everything you need to know is right here. And like I said, I I like this thing uh, so much. I. Uh, <laughs> If this would have been, uh, if this would have possibly been a month from now, I may, I may have uh, three of them because I would have already purchased the second one when this one showed up. So that's the uh, Gun, Gun Vault, Speed Vault model SV500. And like I said, uh, I can tell you right now, uh, if you have a place that you can use something like this, I. Uh, I've I've really I've really liked having this, being able to have a, a firearm in a uh, in a closer scenario under a work desk. Uh, uh, in this particular case, it's in my uh, office office desk in the Star Trek room. Okay, next is the Hero Clip Medium. Now I'm. I remember thinking uh, I've had one of these in the past, and I remember thinking it was kind of cool. And I remember it like being right over here. I thought every, I thought my co-hosts over at the other channel always hung their jackets and on it, and all of a sudden it's gone now. So um, I'm not sure exactly who I gave it to, but maybe I'll uh, try harder to hang on to this one. What's cool about it is it gives you the ability to. Uh, um, either clip this on something and then hang something here if there's if one thing is like this but you want it like this you can rotate it 360 uh, degrees uh, if you want to uh, 
uh, use it just as a carabiner. You can uh, uh, fold it all together and use it just like that. Hero clip, uh, medium. I remember the one that I had was getting quite a bit of use. Uh, I'm not exactly what happened to it. And uh, this month, November, the Major, there's one last item in here, and it is the Warpath uh, Kitchy. I believe that's how it's pronounced, the Kitchy. Fixed, fixed blade knife. Uh, if, you, if you like a heavier uh, neck knife, you could use this as a neck knife. It doesn't feel like it's as in there as secure as some of the neck knives that I have, but in the process of trying to sh shake this out of here, I, I I haven't had it happen. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if it was around your neck and you uh, you know jumped out of a helicopter, it might come loose. Otherwise, it does have a uh, pocket or belt clip. I mean, I guess, I don't know, I, uh, I guess it's cool that it actually has something on it. And the knife itself is uh, not bad for uh, overall the thickness of it. Still something that I wouldn't have a problem using it to do some batoning. Um, overall, overall it's a, it's a, it's a nice, uh, uh, nice little uh, fixed blade, lanyard hole, G10 scales, I don't know. I haven't given you any tip, any technical information on uh, any of this stuff yet. Uh, uh, three and an eighth, uh, three and an eighth inch blade, 1095 ha uh, hard uh, carbon steel drop point, seven inches uh, overall, and uh, that is the Warpath. Kitchy? Kitchy Koo? Okay. Again, if you want to find out more about what Crate Club has to offer, the different levels uh, that you could uh, possibly uh, sign up for, I will have all of that information right below you in this video. Um, go check them out. Uh, they definitely uh, offer some cool stuff. As I always say, when I look at these items and I try to imagine what I'd use them for uh, this particular month, the only one that it, that immediately is I'm. I'm not quite sure, but I have had scenarios where I maybe wanted to have something on me at a little bit uh, more ready uh, and a and a and a backup to the backup. So we'll see. Otherwise, like always, it ends up as a giveaway item or it goes into Justin's final mission. So questions, comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for checking out this video, and please check out crate club this is the newer monthly uh delivered uh packages and this is the uh the top tier in the monthly club called the major cheers guys